Hey boys, welcome back to some Kalen Ponga career mode. It's going to be round eight, and uh, we're back on the bottom of the ladder here. Yeah, we were brought back down to earth a little bit in our last match against the Roosters. You know, nothing could go right. We didn't really have any possession. Yeah, they dominated us from, uh, well, from the start. We were actually looking good. Scored in the third minute, but then from the next, the next 77 minutes, it was downhill quickly, so... Yeah, I thought, I thought we were starting to get a little, bit moment, uh, little bit of momentum. I thought we were looking to, uh, you know, get, get on a little bit of a run. But I guess a bit of a tough little spell this. We got the Roosters last game. And now we got the Cowboys who obviously in real life are looking absolutely terrible. But um, on the game here, they are going to be extremely difficult because their team is is stacked full of very good players, so, yeah, it doesn't get any easier, so, yeah, we just, we just need to be tighter, tighter around the ruck in, uh, in just general play defense, really, obviously, the goal line defense was pretty weak last game, but just letting the line breaks initially happen and just the meters was not good, as that is just an awful start, what was that pass, <laughs> who was that, was that Connor Watson or Pierce, I don't know who, but that was, uh, that was disgraceful, <laughs> Thankfully, um, who was that? Ken Seo? I think it was. He defended nicely. It was a bit, a bit ambitious by the Cowboys looking to go for this play early in the tackle count. But yeah, flirting with the day, uh, flirting with the touchline, and we uh, we survived. So terrible play to give them the ball. But thankfully, the Cowboys gifted straight back. So you know, we'll we'll take it. No harm, no foul there. And off the scrum, it's gonna be. Kalen Pong is streaking away. Gavin Cooper keeping up. I thought he was going to catch us for a second, but there we put the afterburners into effect and race away and score a very nice try. This time on the scrum, I um I deliberately went the angle just straight back like at the scrum. I thought we could catch like a few forwards here being a little sluggish to get out of the scrum to break and that's sort of exactly what happened. We're able to break through of one tackler. The uh, the forwards in the, the scrum didn't break very quickly. And it was just a one-on-one -on -one miss and uh, a nice try. So there we go. Already scoring scoring early like we did in the last game. Hopefully this game we can sort of continue the momentum and sort of, you know, just, just follow through with a little bit of uh, conviction. Honestly, last game, it just fell apart so quickly and so poorly. Um, but yeah, we just, we just need to be better. But uh, right here, Cowboys, they probably had more of the possession, but you know, we're, we're holding strong and our, our very few chances with the ball, we've looked decent. So kick goes up, we take it nicely. And then the footwork, just, <laughs> just leaving a few Cowboys just grasping it air. The footwork of Ponga just out of this world. But uh, there's, you know, talking about like rugby league live games, Hopefully, in the future, for for the next potential game, like Rugby League Live 5 or whatever it's going to be called, um, I hope, like, with, obviously, like, the new motion capture, you know, abilities that Big Ant Studio have and, and that sort of stuff, hopefully, like, this, like, the step, I actually like the step quite a bit in this game, but it would be fantastic to see, like, different animations for steps, like, you know, obviously... You're not going to be able to have every player with a different step, but it'd be great to see, like, the more, you know, uh, I guess the more standout steps in the game uh, put into effect. You know, Pong is sort of, I mean, Pong has got, you know, a few different steps, but his main one I sort of always just love watching is sort of the, it's sort of a goose, goose step, kind of. He sort of feigns to go in and just skips to the outside, uh, that sort of step, and then you've got, like, you know, Sean Johnson, he, you know, big step off either foot, you know, Tulvas, Shek, like, extremely quick, um, it'd be good to see in, like, future rugby league games, just different animations for steps, you know, forward, you know, maybe you could have, like, a forward with, you know, a very, you know, little sort of, little, little move, because, um, as it is now, the forwards have, like, the same step, it does look, you know, like I said, the step is so much better than other rugby league games. You know, it is pretty powerful in this game, but it does look actually fairly nice and fluid. So that would that would just be a, an added bonus. And it's something that you know we've talked about for a while now. But with the motion capture stuff that I was talking about, it should be you know potentially available to um 
to implement it, which would be good. As uh, good little inside play there. Beautiful stuff. The little chip and chase. Beautiful stuff. We're going to streak away, but Lachlan Coop with the angle tap. Oh, that was some uh, that was some attacking footy at its best right there. And then the spread out to the right here. Good play by the Knights on the back of some beautiful play by us. And they, they're going on the attack. That's what I like to see. You know, the halves getting involved, getting it out to the outside backs. As uh, spreading it out here. All we have to do, put the ball down. Surely, <laughs> second tackle. Oh, I don't know how we didn't score right there. We had the numbers. Uh, it was it was nice play, but we just, you know, Cowboys scrambled nicely. 6-0 still. We, we would like to get a try, just extend the lead. Because, um, you know, 6-0 we could easily uh, go down. But it's going to be a kick goes through. I thought, oh, I couldn't believe it. I thought we were in for a try. Uh, I thought I timed the run nicely, but it's going to land in the arms of Jake Granville. And we were, we were nowhere in position to chase. None of our quick men were in position, and... Jake Granville, he's uh, he's quick, so there was no chance. That is, that's devastating. Honestly, that was, that was tough. That was tough. It was a good little kick. That's um, yeah. I mean, that I guess that's the risk when you've got like your fullback chasing it through. If they end up getting it and, and are able to to make a half break, then no one's in the backfield looking to uh to cover. So. Yeah, that was, that was bad. That was bad. But uh, we do get a chance. We do get a chance to snatch the lead back. It's going to be the last play here. And uh, it's going to be a uh, high kick goes up. Again, we can't contest this one, but it's going to be batted down to us. It was good play, but uh, the Cowboys were aware. They're awake to it and able to wrap us up. So, you know, we're, 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 in, the, we're in a good spot here. Or at least a decent spot. We go for a little sneaky chip and chase. And we get a six to go. Very fortuitous right there. You know, it's good to get a little bit of luck. I feel like we've we've been screwed over a little bit. Um, but uh, big run here by the by the forward. Who is that? Maybe Herman S.A.S.C. Ah, very powerful right there. He's going to get held up over the line. He actually, It's actually Aiden Guerra, in fact. Um, very powerful charge. Doesn't quite make it as uh, Tamalolo injured. He's run, he's running off. A um, little risky to run off uh, in the middle of defending your, your try line. So hopefully we can exploit that. <laughs> I didn't even pick up on that when I was playing this. But uh, uh, not good news for the Cowboys with uh, Tamalolo there. But uh, we're going to get the penalty for offside. Oh, that's that's nice, dude. You know, we the pressure was on to score a try. But we'll take the two points. Mitchell Pierce with a very easy shot. He's going to nail it. So... Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. I don't. I don't care how we get the points. We just. Uh, we just wanted the lead, and that's exactly what we get. So, fit tackle here. It's going to be uh, Connor Watson putting the kick into the corner. It's not a bad kick, but uh, it does get to the man on the full. And unfortunately, Kyle Felt is going to streak away and score under the post. Oh my God! I. So this was frustrating because I know I pressed the button to tackle. Well, I used the right analog stick to tackle, and he just didn't do it. I don't know what happened. I I know he like he just came out of like the animation that where he stepped a player, and maybe sort of the game didn't let me make the tackle because he just finished the animation. But I could ah oh, we've lost because of that. I can't believe it. I feel robbed from that one because I try to make the tackle. He just ran straight past him, but yeah, that's that's heartbreaking. That's a bad loss. Hopefully, guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.